In the land of Phelan, tension resides among five fairy clans who each believe they deserve to rule their world. And while these clans don't quite see eye to eye, there is one thing they do have in common, an enemy. In the capital city of Shri, strange magic lingers, attempting to destroy the sacred vine, which is the source of all life in Phelan. No one knows why this is happening, but what is certain is that without the sacred vine, all will perish. These fairies must put aside their differences and come together to protect the sacred vine and destroy this mysterious enemy. The objective of the game is twofold. First, a cooperative goal. You must work with other clans in order to defeat the enemy and defend the land of Phelan. Second is a personal goal, to become the ruler of Phelan by having the highest amount of Etho points. You must work strategically when pursuing these goals, because if the enemy takes over Phelan and defeats the clans, no one will be crowned the winner. Let's get started with setting up the board. Each fairy will begin in the city their clan is from. Gwilians will begin in Grey Marrow City. Kobolds begin in Tartarus. Nymphs begin in Isinglass. Dryads begin in Vindoria. Sylphs begin in Eldor. Each clan holds a unique characteristic called an Etho that sets them apart from the rest of the clans. This individual Etho will either challenge them or give them greater advantage when facing certain challenges across the board. Each player will be given a player mat to match their fairy. Each mat contains the following. A competency chart which indicates their fairy's ability levels in each different Etho. A heart which indicates the maximum damage your fairy can take on before being required to recover. Equipment slots which allow you to equip weapons, armor, items, and creatures that you purchase from the marketplace. Adventure tokens. Place adventure tokens on the indicated hexes based on the amount of players. Pixie dust tokens. Set aside your pixie dust tokens in an accessible location for when fairies either gain or spend their pixie dust. Adventure decks. Shuffle each individual adventure deck and place near the board for when a player adventures in one of those specific hex locations. Mountain, forest, water, and tunnel. Prepare the marketplace. To set up the marketplace, shuffle each individual marketplace deck, weapons, armor, instants and potions, items, and creatures. After shuffling each individual deck, Place the decks next to the board in a place where all players can see them. Then flip over the top card of each deck as each top card will be the equipment that is available for purchasing when a player arrives in a village hex. Enemy Deck Your enemy deck will contain a variety of minions, mini bosses, and main bosses. To select these enemies, create two separate decks based on the number of players. For games containing 4-5 to five players, your first deck, you'll randomly select 2 minions and 2 mini-bosses and shuffle. Your second deck, you'll randomly select 1 minion, 2 mini-bosses, 1 main boss, and shuffle. For games containing 2-3 to three players, your first deck, you'll randomly select 3 minions and 1 mini-boss and shuffle. Your second deck, you'll randomly select 2 minions, one mini boss and one main boss and shuffle. Place deck one on top of deck two, causing the heaviest threat to arrive further in the game. Progress tracker. Place the progress tracker in an accessible location near the board with the tracking token on the first space to begin the game. Enemy cards will also be placed on this tracker. Board overview. In Phelan, you will notice several different types of hexes. Mountain, forest, water, tunnel, and village. Tunnel hexes are particularly special due to their transport ability. Land on a tunnel hex and travel to any other tunnel hex on the board as if they were adjacent to each other. Village hexes are also noteworthy as these are the only locations that allow you to purchase anything from the marketplace. 
Pixie Dust is required to purchase items from the marketplace, as it is the currency in Phelan. The city of Shri rests in the center of the board and counts as a marketplace hex. Players can land on the city of Shri and purchase available items. Adventuring. As you travel the board, you will see adventure tokens resting on each hex. These adventures offer you opportunities such as gaining pixie dust, acquiring weapons or items, or increasing your etho. A turn will play out as follows. Starting from your fairy location, enter into the first of these two phases. First, your action phase. You may complete up to three actions. You may do the same action multiple times or do all different actions. Your options for actions are to gain two pixie dust, move up to two hexes, adventure, battle, trade, rest and recover all damage. This will cost you two actions. Next is your market phase. If you end your turn on a village or in the city of Shri, you may do any of the following. Purchase any available card in the marketplace using pixie dust or etho points. Discard the top card in one of the marketplace decks. Or sell an item for two less pixie dust than the cost indicated on the card. At the end of each round, you will move the token of the progress tracker up one space. This may prompt you to turn over an enemy card or supply more adventure tokens to the board. If the tracker lands on an enemy, flip over the top card in your enemy deck. This card will give instructions on where this enemy should be placed on the board. It will also indicate who this enemy is, their strength level in battle, and any rewards or consequences that come with winning or losing against it. Each subsequent round, all enemies on the board will move one hex closer to the city of Shri. The player's objective is to stop them before they reach the city to protect the sacred vine. Depending on the enemy's location and strength, and the location and strength of players on the board, fairy clans can choose to team up with some or all other clans, or they may face the enemy alone. If you team up with other clans, you may negotiate the winnings or the consequences before attempting to defeat an enemy. If you face the enemy alone, you either gain all of the rewards or all of the consequences. If the enemy reaches the city of Shri, the game is over, Phelan is destroyed, and no one is crowned the ruler of Phelan. However, if you defeat all the enemies before they reach the city, Phelan remains standing and the fairy with the highest etho wins and is crowned ruler of Phelan. During a battle, players will use their weapons and equipment to fight against the enemy. These will help increase their strength, giving them better odds at winning. To battle, you will roll the battle dice. You will then add your skill bonuses to the amount that you rolled. This includes your etho strength, weapons, equipment, or creatures you may have attached to your player mat. If your score is equal to or higher than the value listed on the enemy card, you and any other fairies you've teamed up with win the battle and defeat the enemy. If your score is lower, you take the damage equal to the difference of the scores and any additional damages indicated on the enemy card. Here's an example. Leyman, our dryad fairy, happens to be battling a troll. Leyman's etho strength is 2. He has a hatchet equipped adding a plus 2 bonus as well as a griffin creature with a plus 2 bonus. If he rolls a 5 on the battle dice, his total score is 11. The troll has a battle challenge score of 10. Leyman wins the battle and gains all the rewards, pixie dust, etho points, equipment, etc. If the enemy reaches the city of Shri, the game is over, Phelan is destroyed, and no one is crowned the ruler of Phelan. However, if you defeat all the enemies before they reach the city, Phelan remains standing, and the fairy with the highest etho wins and is crowned ruler of Phelan.